Hello traders my name is Ray better known as Samurai Trader to most of you and I love day trading my job is to teach you how to day trade the world's best day trading strategies no matter which market you trade whether it be futures Forex or stocks before we get underway please make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking the little red button below so you keep up to date with my most recent videos so in today's video we're going to be covering a lot of information and you may notice down here I've actually uh, marked that up as session one because I can imagine we might end up with up to three sessions on what I'm going to be covering and teaching you we're going to be talking about how to scalp and day trade and pick up some big home runs on the black gold on CL on oil initially I was going to do this video on tick charts only but I've become so reliant on Renko charts and how they work together that I'm going to combine um, how are you and show you how basically I use Renko and tick because I think you'll find it will give you a big heads up and make trading a lot easier for you and please remember that whatever I cover here you can apply to all futures markets Forex and stock markets see principles the exact same setups and principles work on all markets so as I mentioned we're going to be focused on tick but once again with those setups you can use them on any type of chart so as we get underway I do need to pull up the disclaimer as you're going to be watching the recording please feel free to pause the recording if you wish to read the disclaimer <clears throat> pardon me now uh, let's start off with um, income targets look um, I'll get to those charts in a moment and I'll get to these and explain these in a moment but you can actually click on the button below and you can actually download the calculator that I use and I've got a whole range of calculators uh, but you can download the one I'm about to display uh, to you free of charge and there's a little video on how to correctly use it so I won't get into that here but please uh, feel free to download that um, uh, calculator on top of that I've already mentioned please subscribe visit my website my program is a $10,000 plus program the most comprehensive in the world there's nothing else like this for $197 I don't want to make this into a big advertisement but go and get my ebooks visit my website and become a member and you can then also of course join me in my coaching sessions moving on let's get into this first of all what one of the golden rules and it's almost like a universal law we must never ever risk any more than two percent as day traders and scalpers so the scenario that I'm going to be using here is that assumption with the with the following spreadsheets and also when we get to the charts now what that means is if you are trading with a 10 tick stop which is sort of it can really vary on the basis of a time frame that you're using so I might have a stop anywhere from six ticks up to 14 ticks but let's just use an average of 10 so that's $100 at $10 a tick plus your commissions so you're going to pay your broker anywhere from $5 down to 350 depending on the volume and who you're trading with now what that means is you'd need a trading account of $5,200 plus a buffer you if you're new to trading a market I always recommend you have a bit of a buffer there for a couple of down trades when you first start trading now what is important here and I suppose I should just show you this with TradeStation my broker so this is going to vary from month to month and depending on what's happening in the market of course over the last 12 months with the coronavirus uh, CL the black gold has been a very challenging market very low volume lots of choppy days however as we're now starting to come out of that we're seeing oil prices start to lift we're starting to see the volumes lift etc so it's getting back to the good old days now here TradeStation requires nearly six thousand dollars now that's if you're trading after hours during the Globex session which we will look at in these uh, videos because there's some great trading opportunities you need to have around six thousand in your account the day trading margin is 50 percent but even where they say okay you only need to have three thousand dollars you mustn't forget 
the risk parameters. That is, if your stop is a hundred dollars, three thousand is just not enough. You need to remember remember that. And so, if you're trading the after hours market, what we call the Globex session, you'll re, you'll require a little more in your account. So, a poor man or woman is not a man or woman without a cent. But it's a man or woman without a dream you've got to have a target it's so important so let's be very conservative here and say if your daily target is only $100 a day now for that we would go for 150 you're not always going to have up days you're gonna have better days you're gonna have some down days etc um, let's go for a hundred net now to achieve that I would need two six tick trades a day and I'll show you how to do that in this session now what that works out to be is um, that would be two $60 trades less your commission that's $110 and as I say here we focus on the one trade one trade at a time because if you can do it once you can do it again and again and again now what this means to you is and based upon this calculator every time you double your money that is you have another six thousand in your account you can now start trading two contracts and you can build from there so this is a very conservative approach and of course you could ramp it up with a calculator and have a higher risk than two percent very dangerous so but what this means is within 44 weeks based upon only $100 a day you've got the potential of increasing your income up to 10,000 a week if you're after 5,000 a week it would take you 35 weeks but what that means is then you've also got 65,000 in your account and so this is the compound effect now for that I only need two six tick trades a day now let's start to get more realistic if you're trading during the New York session which which really the London leading into New York is the best particularly the morning of the New York session um, tons of opportunities so three eight tick trades a day and for any members watching this that's simply um, uh, three two B trades and and by the way members or, or traders I should say a lot of you are not members at this stage we've got a in our coaching room we've got five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can and what that means is five five tick trades a day on the CL and three eight tick trades a day that'll get you over four hundred dollars and that's the mantra five by five yes I can three by eight yes I can it gets us into state now what this means is starting off with six thousand you have a potential of being up there at ten thousand a week within 18 weeks just one more I'm not even going to bother going to 400 a day but let's just have a look at 300 a day you it's four eight tick trades a day now realistically traders we need to take what the market will give us meaning at times if I'm selling into a pivot I might only be four ticks away so that trades only going to be I'm, a, I'm going to be expecting a pivot bounce okay so I might only pick up four ticks out of that which is $40 a contract so at times we need to be willing to take what the market gives us but we can see here we can be up to our 10,000 a week income within 11 weeks based upon 300 a day if you're after say 2,000 a week 3,000 a week or 3,000 you're there in six weeks on 300 a day so the big question is how do we do that so once again you can download this calculator so how we do it is this first of all we want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame so we have what we call three charts you can cut one out particularly if you're a newer trader or if you're finding it difficult looking at three charts and I'll show you how to do that very soon and so you could have what we call your EC the entry chart which is our red line and the dark blue line is what we call our anchor chart okay so we're looking for pullbacks and back in a direction of the overall trend trend continuation now this is where then we also get some golden divergence trades of course all good trends will come to an end and then we've got some great opportunities to make money from these great divergence trades I will show you how we do that also however 
until you're consistently profitable I highly recommend traders that you stay focused on trend trading only you know the old saying a bird in a hand is better than two in the bush it's very very important master trend trading only with only one or two strategies and I want you to remember the 34b and the 2b I want you to drill that into your mind because I'll talk a lot about the 34b and the 2b they're the two setups you master they're both trend following uh, by both kick butt 70 to 80 percent of the time you're going to have a winner so uh, even better than that usually with the 2b and then you can consider taking the gold and divergence trades now when it comes to trading there are three main trading sessions we've got New York the Asian session where we're going to drop down significantly the time frame we normally use in New York then we've got the London session where the volumes picking up and will increase the chart time frames now if the trade is going to fail these are the key reasons number one the trader themselves either you get in too late or you've had a couple of losses and you freeze I spend a lot of time trading traders in the psychology of trading using NLP techniques affirmations it's just so important trading is 90% head stuff however we need to consider the speed of the market and if it's too fast we need to either sit out of that sit sit out that trade or increase the time frame that we're trading because the higher the time frame also can affect our stops we don't want to have a stop that's too tight particularly in a fast market so you've got to know the right stop and where to exit the trade and that is I mentioned to you earlier traders that we need to consider or take at times what the market will give us and I've got that on another slide we'll discuss that in more the time in a trade if it stalls I am a momentum trader that is if the market stalls something may have changed it may be time for me to exit and we need of course to consider the current trend that is most of us are really good solid trend traders so therefore we need to know how to identify a trend so here are the key questions that when we go to the charts today in a few minutes we're going to be asking do I have a setup does it meet my trading rules does it fully qualify for an example you'll hear me say regularly is it an 80% trade Dick Diamond who wrote the book uh, trading as a business talks about this all the time he could he, it's really his qualifying question for the trade is it an 80 percent a 34b and a 2b will particularly the the, the 2b so they're the 80 percent plus trades okay 34b is getting mighty close and some members will get an 82 84 percent on that one but, but it's got to be qualified am I trading it in a trending market so from there we want to know where is our entry where do we place our stop where do we exit or take profits now this is where so many traders fall flat we need to know where the pivots are because with pivots traders we have what we call a PM and a PB that is pivots are price magnets but they also can cause price to bounce so if you're buying into a pivot say one or two ticks away from the pivot because it's just off screen you don't know where it is quite possibly you'll get a bounce and it'll come back and take you out so you need to know where your pivots are we need to know where our major swing highs or lower lows are and by the way none of this is is rocket science okay where are the major EMAs one of the biggest things or most important factors that most traders have no idea on both the pivots and midline pivots and the major EMAs they are price magnets so then do we have a fixed target or do you trail the stop and if trailing which strategy will you use if you're trading say one contract I'm a big one I'm recommending that you stay focused and really on having a fixed target initially now how are we going to achieve our weekly and daily targets and the reason I prefer to say weekly it just if you have a target at the end of a week if you have a down date it's not so devastating however 
um, we'll to cover how to really minimize those down days but as you'll see really how high probability our strategies are so here's what we've got retracements and pullbacks all right where we're going back in the, in the direction of the trend that's going to be for most of you the highest probability then we're going to have reversals and as you'll see I'll point out reversals real time if we see some set up and you'll see there that most of those the ones I pick will be a good 80 to 90 percent but I've been doing this a long time 27 years so you need to be very cautious there there's a lot more to read so what this is our number one breakouts uh, I'm not a huge breakout fan if you do I really want to take that pullback and that bounce particularly on pivots that is let's just say traders if we're in an uptrend and we've got our pivots above a pivot initially will quite often act as resistance once you break through you want to trade that bounce because then they become support very very powerful and then you've got range bounce which is I really want to avoid I'm I really don't like scalping for a couple of ticks generally speaking I like to stay away from chop so let's now go to the chart so uh, let me pull up my window there for uh, CL so what we're looking at here is a one tick Renko now this is actually um, uh, going back here this is going back a day or two during the globex session now my charts are on Eastern Standard Time even though I'm down under in Australia this is Eastern Standard Time you can see here now a one tick chart can be really useful at times now uh, by the way I've got to say this the sign of in an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas doesn't mean they don't verify the idea it's how open one of the greatest challenges we've got in the trading industry right now is everyone wants to blame the coach the teacher if they don't succeed where in fact most traders are not committed to trading they're merely interested to make it in this business you've got to become a student of the markets you've got to be committed you can't be half pregnant and this is one of the challenges so a lot of traders will say oh BS you can't trade that I haven't said we're going to necessarily trade it it is a heads up now where we're very early in the globex session let's actually why don't we have a quick look look at this right now there's been some great trades here on the globex session so I'm recording this down under in Australia at 10 13 a.m. it's exactly uh, 8 13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so after hours there are some great trading opportunities let me just show you this so the market opened up today at, at um, uh, 1800 uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time okay and usually when the market first opened opens I should say uh, we want to usually give it a good five minutes and we can see here there are a couple of quick scalps into the pivot and into our round numbers uh, which happen very quickly so we're usually going to be waiting for this trade for an example right there now that trade right there and for any members watching that's a 2b okay look over at your anchor chart there's your bounce here's your bounce look at your long-term stochastic and by the way for our pure price action traders you don't have to use the stochastics or the MACD as long as you're using your EMAs for your trend direction but you've got a 2b uh, my entry would have been on the close of a fourth candle one two three four five six seven look at touched eight ticks uh, and that's your classic uh, uh, 2b now it's actually not an 80 85 percent trade and the reason it's not is you're trading against the higher time frames and so let me just point this out I think this is a really good time and we'll go to the tick charts as well traders just be patient I know some of you oh, what, what are you going to show us on the tick charts let me just show you this the thing that we constantly ask in traders what's the bias of the market what's the trend bias because remember I mentioned we want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame 
maybe I didn't say it so far but I, I say it in every coaching session and every video I record okay we want to be trading in the direction of the high time frame now on our anchor chart one so what we've got here is an entry chart one uh, this is our entry chart sorry <laughs> anchor chart one and anchor chart two for some traders they'll become a little lost looking at the three initially so what you can actually do is you can actually expand that and but just make sure you develop the habit of looking at your higher time frame because what we can see here we still have and sorry about the red dots it's an ATR just there but we're in a definite uptrend at this stage okay so what I've got just here is we've got let me just roll over here we've got a little we call this a 2d now what 2d stands for two divergences may not look like it but you've got divergence there and you've got divergence here now we want to take this trade and our target is going to be the cyan line up here and this is what I mean about taking what the market will give us by the way because a very very high probability we are going to come up here and get a market turn that went a little bit further but these are major bounce points they're like pivots okay see how we bounced off a pivot and off around number oil is rather unique as far as there are certain extra lines you want to draw on your charts that is you want to draw a line at your 80 cent your round numbers 50 and at your 20 cent levels okay because you bounce off these all the time and pivots particularly are very important and this particular dash line is what we call a midline pivot that's the 50% level between uh, the, uh, a main pivot okay it could be between the s1 and the floor pivot or the floor pivot and the r1 which resistance one etc now you just saw that pop down very very quickly and notice how it popped down to the 80 cent level there did you see that come down so it's very important in learning how to trade oil that you understand for an example with oil we've got what we call the 10 o'clock shock on most days you've got the um, the 210 uh, and oil uh, um, shock you'll also have oil opens up at 9 not 8 30 or 9 30 so there are little nuances but you can do really well because remember here just going back to this very quickly on just two 200 a day three eight tick trades a day look at your income potential it's huge it's outstanding but you just want to learn how to trade these so what we've also just seen in this globex session that this is very fast so you can use that and I'll actually show you here on my Dom and and on my trading Dom you'll see here that I will have either a one tick and you can't really see it in there a one or two so at the moment here's my Dom and we can see plenty of market depth through a five to ten contract trader and we can see here we're breaking lows of the day here right now that by the way is um, for existing members you've got a slingshot and a 21b there as you can see I'm really going to be talking about the highest probability trades in this series we'll be talking about the 34b and the 2b they're the highest for 20 but the, the 21b by the way uh, traded correctly is a great setup okay you'll you'll have probably a 72 to 75 76 percent win loss ratio if you trade it correctly that is where in, in a trend but I recommend really focus on the 34 and the 2b's to begin with and and go from there okay so plenty of market depth so as the market picks up for the if I was trading London tonight I would increase this next to a two tick and what I've then got of course I've got multiple screens I've just dragged this down to give you an example here so let's now have a look and let's discuss tick charts here for a moment with oil is we can see the difference here in looking at a 50 tick now there's so many philosophies and no one is right or wrong when it comes to what size tick charts to use for an example right now it's uh, early evening in the US so where normally I would use a 233 tick chart 
uh, for trading the New York session where you can drop down to an 89 tick and let's let me just show you that's an 89 whoops no it's not uh, did I click on the 89 what have I done there uh, oh, I see what I've done here I'm sorry I've, I've put the wrong chart up there so normally I'd have an 89 and you'll see there's not a big huge difference okay um, gee whiz why do I do I'm actually going to pause this I want to set this up this is important point just a moment okay okay that's better I remember what I did there I was showing someone how they can drop the time frame down and I didn't put it back again so what I've got here is the 89 a 233 and a 610 now it's very very important the time frames that you establish for any market that you trade and how you jump up okay because there are certain key points little known secret about EMA bounces how they all bounce at the same time but what's important for that is the time frames that we choose now if you don't believe in in, in Renko uh, there's no need to use an 89 tick you can drop down to a, uh, a 50 if you want and use a 150 and a 450 tick but we can see at the moment how untidy our charts can actually look now these white paint bars it's called the super scalper let me just turn my scalper off just for a moment and just make it a little more clear there for you so we can see we've been open actually for uh, two hours and there hasn't been a great deal of action on the tick charts thus far but look what's happening on the one tick and a lot of these major moves you've been able to pick up like at at uh, 21b uh, it's just pick you up six ticks okay so taking that 21b uh, and for all members in the room and for uh, oh, sorry I keep thinking I'm running a live session for all traders I should say what we've got there that's what we call a fanning of the EMAs because one of the most critical factors when we're trading tick time-based charts etc do I have a fanning of the EMAs because that is what proves up what's happening now just see this right here so I'm looking for a turn in the market right here now by the way all right we've come down to a major support point we've got what we call a 200 EMA overshoot and in a moment we'll just see if we get a turn here okay usually we do now if we do get a turn here there will probably be a nice little scalping opportunity so we might even come back to this all right now to get a turn confirmed see that white paint bar I would need the white paint bar in three high closes now the great thing about trading the really low time frames is our stop loss for an example if you're trading uh, uh, this little uh, white paint bar and you use a buy stop whereas you can put it in advance you'd be in and there's no reason there, there's not a qualified trade there but if you were trading that you'd be in up here your stop will be there you've only got a six tick stop which is sixty dollars ah look at this now remember earlier I was saying to you about knowing where your pivots are look at this now let's see what happens with the next four or five ticks now because now we've dropped down and I'll just tell you what that is there here's a really good lesson here on pivots yes so that's the s1 down there now the s1 stands for support one going from the floor pivot down to the s1 you've got about a 94 percent chance you'll usually stair step down remember earlier I said to you that um, as you break a pivot you come up support you want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame okay so here we've got here and what we're expecting now is a pivot bounce I want you to notice here we've got some divergence here and we have some divergence there now right there now there is a 2d a qualified 2d remember up there I said you'd be in on the fourth candle okay that's using a buy stop what you actually do traders when you're trading Renko one of the beauties of Renko is you can put a buy stop in in advance okay that is see this last red brick down here as soon as you have that red brick pop um, uh, come down there's a little formula that we use where we count so many ticks up and we put a buy stop in as soon as we get our first green candle then if it keeps falling it doesn't matter but you'll see quite often 
particularly on the lower time frames you'll get some really fast rapid moves and so you want to be stopped into the trade now as I mentioned this is a counter trend trade and see that here we now have a, a 21b here as well we we're not interested in that one uh, why we're right on the pivot now my target here traders once we pass this 80 cent level is the cyan this is what we call a 2d trade we've got to get past this now past the 80 cent level so remember what was once support becomes resistance so that can be a really strong level now I've got a 60 if I was in this trade I'd have a six tick stop $60 so I'm after a minimum of six ticks but I would go to break even at plus four so what we've got here is a 2d pivot bounce but um, let's have a look what's happening on the tick chart at this stage now with the tick chart we can see here I've got a little bit of divergence just here none on the anchor charts and uh, it, as you can see they don't look as tidy so why still use tick charts well tick charts at times will still give you some incredibly valuable information that you will miss out on the Renko okay so uh, right now we'd see here let me put the white paper you'll see it'll plot right at that point now at that low and I've got the white the super scalper set up for ninja trader for trade station we've got a version of it for think or swim and um, uh, mt4 uh, and if you don't have it it's a simple little pattern but once you understand the pattern you'll understand why it's plotted now why is that not plotted let me just check that it's actually um I've got one two three Ah, okay I see why it hasn't plotted okay I've got to to actually plot back I've got to have a minimum of three down candles but I had that one just there so anyway um, bottom line is that their traders at this stage on the tick and, and notice here the differences on your pivot levels with tick uh, floor and that is a weekly pivot okay so with floor pivots they'll behave differently whether you're trading tick or Renko so how I have mine set up and I'll finish this recording I'll, I'll do another session uh, is this I will have my tick charts above I've got um, six screens so I've, I'll have my tick set up like this above my Renko so here I'm looking at a two a four and a seven um, and so this time of day I would be looking at the one tick yes I know it pops at times but uh, you can still pick that up because even with the uh, where is it here well, let's show you this so see here I've got the one two and the four where well, you can't really see it's a four tick so even if for one pops I'm still watching the mid the anchor chart one will still identify the pattern for me all right I'll finish this one up and let's continue because we haven't even got into the meat and potatoes yet so, uh, so I'll see you on the next video and um, uh, just to pin a little advertisement of course make sure that you uh, download my ebooks get hold of my uh, free calculator just in case you get um, uh, distracted and for 197 dollars traders you can join me it's it's the most comprehensive is over 200 hours of online instruction there are dozens of handouts over 35 powerpoints okay there's nothing else like it uh, so anyway come and join me <laughs> my coaching is only $97 a month after first month is free if you choose to stay with us for first month it's 97 a month uh, cancel at any time okay see you on the next video